everybody, Shav, nobody else's auto. Got some real cool inventory tonight. We got a little bit of breeze today, so we may get a little bit of wind noise. We got the fuzzy cat on the microphone, so hopefully that'll help out. But if not, please excuse the wind noise. We just didn't want to miss you tonight and not bring you some more cool new inventory. Tonight, we're gonna to check out a really cool Dodge truck. This is a 1948 to 1950 era, one ton Dodge. Big old heavy duty pickup. Sharp looking old truck, but just an old farm truck. It was used, abused. That's what happened to these trucks because that's what they were back in the day. Now pickups are super cool. They're cherished, everybody loves them. This is back from the time where they were used for one thing and one thing only, and that was to work them and work them hard. We'll start off in the front of this truck. One thing kind of different about this Dodge is this has stainless grill bars on them. A lot of these trucks just had these painted bars. This has a full set of stainless. These have some dings and dents in them. They need a little work, but just finding a full set of stainless bars for these trucks, really tough. So I've actually got painted ones in stock as well, but it's really cool to see a set of these stainless bars because they really make the front ends of these Dodges stand out. Got the big cool Dodge badge across the front so you know what's coming at you. And of course the iconic Ram hood ornament where they've actually got the entire body of the Ram shaped into that hood ornament. We'll take a look down the side of this truck. Like I said, this was a workhorse. They were used. This fender's taking some heat, has the bigger wheels since this was a bigger truck. Take a peek under the hood, all still there. We can see the horn, even has an oil filter put hung on the side of it. Still pretty much an intact old pickup. Even got the hood prop rods still intact. That was all you had. They fold it up, fold it down. That's what you use to make the hood up. We we'll come down the side of this whole truck. This is kind of unique. It is a five window cab. Yes, Dodge made a five window cab as well, just like Chevrolet did back in this era. Right here on the corners, basically the same concept as the Chevy. It had a separate corner window so that you could see out the corners for better visibility. Dodge did the same thing as Chevy. They had a three window and a five window available in this era. Let's take a peek inside of here. Intact, just your basic old pickup. Still has the seat in there. All the dash stuff is still there. Even still has the original battery cover right here on the floor. Yep, that's where your battery went. Just had a cover that just literally had two spring clips on it. Snap down over the top of it. Finish your floor panel out and your rubber mat laid across the top of it. That was it. Pretty simple. And that's where your battery was at. As we come down the side of this old truck, this has a really long bed on it because this was, I believe, a one ton. It does have these big, longer running boards on them that these other trucks had, which is also kind of different and unique to these bigger trucks. Bed's got a little bit of rust coming through the sides of it, we can see. But overall, not terrible shape for as bad as these things were abused back in the day. Even the top rails aren't completely smashed down on it. The rear fender, obviously like a lot of these, we can see where it was basically stick welded over the years as these cracked out. Once again, a pretty common fix. And when you see these old trucks from this era, especially the 40s and 50s, not uncommon at all to see fenders like that where they cracked. They just took an old welder and burned them up, burned along the edge, welded them back up to hold them together. So what they, there again, workhorses, they had to do the job. That's all they were concerned about. They weren't caring about, didn't care if they were pretty, had to do the job and not fall apart. Well, around the back of this Dodge, got the iconic big, huge Dodge tailgate stamped right in there, very clear, pretty cool looking tailgates on these trucks. Truck even had a factory rear bumper, it looks like, but it's been modified. It's had a hitch welded to it and some extra bracketry welded to it. Um, and obviously there again, these pickups did not have heavy bumpers on them. So a lot of them never had a bumper because they weren't good for much. This one, the brackets were broke and it's been reinforced and re-braced re because they weren't very heavy duty back in the day. We come along this side of the truck, some kind of a very unique feature to this truck that's been added is this rear fender is not quite stock. It basically is some old galvanized metal that was cut and shaped around the curve to keep the tire from throwing dirt and rocks. And uh, that's what they went with. Like I said, back in the day, didn't have to be pretty just had to work so that's once again another example of that functionality not beauty take a peek inside the truck over here kind of the same thing see the rest of the stuff in the dash 
overall pretty solid old truck got just a little bit of rust in the floors here but rockers look good cab corners look good doors look solid so really other than a little bit of rust in the floors a little bit of rust in the bed the old truck is pretty solid over here once again we see the other corner window of the five window dodge cab and get up here to the front again we'll take a peek under the hood on this side as well carburetor air cleaner everything just like it was shut off years ago when they quit using this old truck so that's what we've got for you tonight really cool old beast of a dodge work truck because that's what they were they weren't pretty they just had to function and that's all that anybody cared about so once again just like all these old vehicles that we have around here and part of the reason we bring you these videos is these vehicles all tell a story everything that's happened to this truck from the welded up left rear fender to the modified or, or homemade basically right rear fender all of those features tell a story those all go into what makes up the life of these old vehicles and that's what's so great about them they may remind you of a different time they all tell their own story so it's always cool to see these things it's always cool to walk around them and check that stuff out even though a lot of the modifications weren't exactly stock it's still neat to see what happened back in the day because these things needed to work they had to work that was their sole purpose in life today we look at them a lot differently than they did back then but that's the way they are today so hope you guys enjoyed this one as always if you're on facebook please share the video with your friends invite them to come over give the page a like so they can check out what we've got going on stay up to date with all the new videos if you're on youtube please subscribe to my channel check out all my other old car videos you like old cars you like old trucks you like automobilia check out our channel because that's all we do on here if you have specific questions about vehicles or parts whether it's this dodge or any of these other 1500 cars and trucks that we've got on the ground right now the only way to have that conversation is to call me give me a shout 620-786-4428 that number's on the page give me a call so we can talk about your project or what you want your project to be year make model body style the direction you want to go with your build all of that type of stuff is information that i need to know if i might have something here that may work for your project so having that take taking a minute making that phone call is so critical texts emails none of that stuff gives me all the information i need so i need to get all that from you to know if i've got something here that can help you out so as always thanks for watching really appreciate you swinging by hanging out for a little bit checking out the video having a lot of fun doing these but if you guys weren't stopping by and hanging out it'd be kind of boring so thanks for watching everybody hope to see you soon on the next video